First of all, create a backup set. Click the Add button to create a new backup set for VMware ESXi Backup. Select the VMware Backup Set Type. Input your preferred name for this backup set. Select the correct version of your VMware ESXi server. Our ESXi is version 5.1. So, select this. Then, input the password and host information. Click Next when finished. After Cloudbacker connected to your ESXi host, select the guest virtual machine to back up. Let's select this Windows XP Pro. OK, click Next to proceed. Now, we need to create schedules for automatic backup. A daily schedule is created by default. Click on it to edit the details. Let's change its name. And modify the start time here. Select this option to run retention policy after backup, for cleaning up outdated backup data. Go to next step when finished. If one schedule is not enough, you can add as many schedules as needed. No upper limit. Let's add another weekly schedule. Select weekly here. Modify the name. And select the days to run the backup. For example, Wednesday and Saturday. Set the start time. Again, we select this option to run retention policy after backup. OK, next. We have created two schedules. Let's move on. Now, we need to set up the destinations for backup. Let's set up a local destination first. Select the path for this local destination. For example, select this folder as our destination. You can test if this destination is ready for use. OK, next. One local destination is not secure enough. Let's select Amazon S3 as a second destination. Select Amazon S3 here. Modify the destination name if needed. Now, Amazon S3 offers seven locations for you to choose. As now I'm located in Hong Kong, I'd like to choose Tokyo, as it is closest to me. In your Amazon S3 management console, copy and paste your access key ID and secret access key to here. Click help if you don't know how to get these keys. You can test if your account is accessible by clicking the test button. OK, next. Now we have two destinations. We can choose whether to run sequential or concurrent backup to these destinations. Let's choose concurrent. Here, you can set the maximum number of concurrent backups. In most case, we can just choose unlimited. OK, next. Now we need to set up the encryption. 
we highly recommend users to encrypt your backup data if you will backup data to the cloud. For the default encryption type, Cloud Backhoe will generate a 256-bit AES truly randomized encrypting key for you, so that no easily hackable key, such as ABC123, will be used for encrypting your critical data. You can always modify the default setting by choosing the custom option, so that you can choose your preferred encryption algorithm, method, key length, and encrypting key. OK, next. Enter your domain password for allowing CloudBacker to access your network. OK, next. Great. Our VMware backup set is ready. Scheduled backups will be run automatically, according to your defined schedules. Now, we can fire a backup manually by clicking this button. Let's see what advanced options we have. Let's run a full backup by selecting full here. And we want to back up to all destinations, so leave these options selected. And we want to run retention policy after backup. So, select this option. OK, start the backup now. The progress to all destinations will be shown here. Click the status bar if you want to show the hidden details. When backup is finished, you can click this icon to ready the detailed backup log. Close this backup window to go back to the software main page. You can also read the backup related report here. Click the roll to read the details for that item. In this usage report page, you can have a glance for the storage usage of the selected destinations. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel for more videos of Cloud Backhoe.